Hey guys, out on the uh, Lakeshore Trail here in beautiful Moores Mooresville, North Carolina. Sorry, my lips are frozen. It is 28 degrees out here. And I thought I would go for a New Year's Day walk. By the way, Happy New Year to everyone. Hope everyone is safe and warm and comfortable. But the reason for this little vlog here is to maybe explain why I am hiking the Appalachian Trail this year. And being that, I can't really give you a, an exact explanation as to why other than I want to. Maybe I can lead you through the series of events that brought me to this point. So, back in 2009, I decided that I was gonna do a section hike with the Appalachian Trail. I'd never been backpacking. How are y'all today? I had never backpacked and I found a website called White Blaze and got on there and started asking questions. Found out that uh, I could do this short little hike from Elk Park back to Damascus. It was about 30 miles, a lot of downhill, very little uphill. Good for beginners. So great. So I buy the gear. And you also have to know that at that time, I was extremely out of shape. Like, probably close to 70 pounds overweight. Drank beer every night. And really had no business doing this. So, I get to the uh, trailhead and start walking. And I make it to the first shelter on the first day which was, I think, Lost Mountain. It is the shelter right at the bottom of White Top Mountain. And got there and thought I was gonna die. And realized I still had something like 17 miles still to go the next day. And to top it off, it poured rain that night. I didn't know how to set up a single wall tent. It condensated, everything I had got soaked. Yeah, it was a mess. The next day, I death marched the next 17 miles back into town. I think I talked to God a couple times, telling him if he would just let me get back to my car, I would never do anything that stupid again. So I made it back to the car, obviously. And a strange thing happened while driving home started thinking, man, that was a pretty good time. And uh, kind of forgot all the stuff that sucked and just started remembering how beautiful it was and how much I enjoyed it. And so I got back home and I started thinking, well, what was it that made the, the trip miserable for me? And it was just being terribly out of shape, which I'm actually kind of there right now, but nothing like back then. So I quit drinking and I lost about 70 pounds over the next year and started backpacking. And I have backpacked, oh, there are only a few sections left in the southern portion of the Appalachian Trail that I haven't done. Um, I haven't done the Smokies, so that, that'll be cool to see. But uh, I've also hiked in Colorado several times. I hiked the John Muir Trail in California, which, man, if you're a hiker and you haven't done that yet, 
That absolutely is a must. You have to do that. It is amazing. Gorgeous. Also, I've hiked the, uh, I guess kind of the northern half of the Wind River Mountains in Wyoming. That was really beautiful. In the last few years, excuse me, the last few years, I've been more into the photography, photography side of things and haven't really done any of the long trips. But uh, a couple years ago, I was watching Bigfoot and, uh, oh God, who else was I watching? Well, anyways, I was watching a couple vloggers on the, uh, on YouTube, kind of halfway. And, uh, you know, watched them and thought it was cool. The more, the closer they got to the end, the more I watched them, blah, blah, blah. And then this past year, I started watching Early Riser. And I don't know if it's that I related to him a little better because I think we are of similar age. Um, maybe a similar mindset to the point that I'm an extreme introvert as well. But way worse than he is. Man, talking to a camera is killing me. Um, but yeah, I watched his videos like religiously, like every morning I got up, checked my computer, did he pull one up yet? Because I wanted to see where he had gotten to. I knew he was going to make it. I just was interested in his thought processes as to the mileages and all that kind of stuff. So I got inspired to go do a section hike back in May of this year of 2017 and did a southbound from Dickey Gap back to Damascus, kind of where it all started. This time I was in really good shape. It's really easy, really beautiful. And I passed through the bubble. They're all heading northbound. I'm going southbound through them. So I'm talking with them, chatting them up. They're all excited about this huge adventure that they're on. And I'm thinking, man, I gotta go back to work. And you know, I never think that I could get any real time off of work to do something like that. So kind of put it in the back of my mind. Well, the next weekend was trail days. And I'm at trail days and uh, find myself in front of the Z-Pax tent and Joe Valesco is there and he's like that guy who stands in front of the circus tent. <sighs> Step right up, don't be shy. And uh, so I go walking out of there with a new pack and a tent. I'm thinking, man, dude, you just blew $800. You have got to through hike this trail. So I go back to work, tell my boss, here's what's up. <laughs> Next year, I want to hike the Appalachian Trail. I'm going to be need about five months off. So she gets kind of freaked, but it goes up to the corporate. Corporate thinks about it, comes back down. They say, you're good to go. We just need the time, the dates that you're gonna need to be off. So I had to come up with a start date and an end date. And I chose a start date of February the 12th, which is a Monday, which I may try to start that Sunday, the 11th. And I told them I would be back to work after the July 4th holiday. So that gives me roughly 140 days total door to door which means i need to do this trail really in about 120 in order to facilitate getting back getting acclimated to being back home a little bit i don't want to walk off the trail and be at work the next day obviously need about a week to get used to being in civilization again 
<clears throat> so yeah, as far as inspirations go, I'd say Early Riser was uh, a huge inspiration. Dixie was uh, who I was trying to think of a minute ago. She was very inspirational and I, although I didn't watch her Appalachian trail hike completely, I watched parts of it. I was glued to her PCT hike. That was, man, she got some great video. And the guy who did the video edit for her, I gotta be working in Hollywood. He is amazing. So if you haven't watched Dixie's uh, PCT through hike, go watch that. But yeah, Bigfoot, Early Riser, Dixie, and a bunch of other guys out there that, man, I'm having trouble thinking of names right now. But, if you've already hiked the trail and I'll show you, you're an inspiration to me. So thanks a lot. Now, I'm gonna get back to finishing this up. It's uh, getting late and the park closes at six. And so I need to boogie down to get done. But uh, if you watch this whole thing, which would shock me, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys on the next video. Hey guys, this is just some of the scenery out here on the Lakeshore Trail. This place is about 20 minutes from my house. And so I can pretty much come out here anytime I want and walk this little five mile loop trail. And it's beautiful. And I just thought you might like to see it. So there's that. If there's another good view up here, I'll show you that one too. All right, guys, this really is the end of the video. Just thought you might want to get this view. I'm actually doing pretty good out here. I'm averaging 17 minutes a mile. So obviously this is nothing as difficult as the AT, but it's, it's not an easy trail. And 17 minute miles make me happy being pretty much right off the couch. I haven't done a lot of training up till now. But the training starts now, and uh, hopefully we'll do well when we get there. All right, guys, if you really watched all this, thank you very much for watching this. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it if you have subscribed to the channel, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.